Okay, today, kitties, we're going to learn about the bonnets. Now, if you actually like Gwen Harwood and you like her poem, you probably don't want to listen to me reading this because I'm going to sound like a total douchebag. I had to clean it up in case any kid stumbles across this by pure accident. Alright, the violets. It is dusk and cold. I kneel to pick. Frail male, male colony flowers among ashes and loam. The melting west is striped like ice cream. While I try whistling a trill, close by his nest, our blackbird frets and stops his beak. Indifferent to Scar Scarletti's song, ambiguous light, ambiguous skies. Towards nightfall, walking from the fearful half sleep of sleep of a hot afternoon at our first house in Eugene, I ran to find my mother, calling for breakfast, laughing. It will soon be night, you goose. Her long hair falling down to her waist. She dried my tearful face as I sobbed. Where's morning gone? And carried me downstairs to see spring violets in their lonely bed. Hungry and cross, I would not hold their sweetness. Or be confronted even when my father, whistling came from work. But used my tears to scold the thing I could not grasp or name. That, while I slept, had stolen from those hours of unreturning light, into my father's house we went, young parents and their restless child, to light the lamp and the wood stove, while dusk surrendered pink and white to, burying, to blurring darkness. Reconciled, I took my supper and was sent to innocent sleep. Years cannot move, nor death's disorienting scale, to sort those lamplit presences. A child with milk and storybook, my father, bending to inhale the gathering flowers with tenderness, stroking my mother's golden brown hair, stone cur curlews call from Kedron Brook, faint scent of violence drifting air. My god, I suck at reading. Ugh, I love it. Um, basically, Gwen Harwood, the violets, uh, is a story about past and present. The violets start a and trigger a memory inside the protagonist as they recall events of their childhood, seemingly uh, stemming from the interaction with the violets and progressing. It's dusk cold, I kneel to pick. Father was the sole provider of the family, even when my father, whistling, came from work, on a pier used with the whistling. Contrast to the nurturing mother, I ran to find my mother. Emphasis placed on the male dominance. Into my father's house we went. That's right, male dominance. I'm probably going to get some... Uh, now, woman power, go go, uh, flower power. Wait, no, go power. Yeah, that's the... stroking my mother's golden brown hair. Another reference to her father's dominance and rule. Her father's commanding presence as she recalls the events of her childhood. Disillusionment. Where has morning gone? Wait, where's morning going? Uh oh, where's morning gone? That's right. Not where has. Where's morning gone? Don't make that mistake like me. The violence has set her memory in motion, and she recalls a similar late afternoon in her early childhood. Confused by an afternoon nap, she had woken up looking for breakfast, sobbing when she realized her mistake. She asked, where's morning gone? The child's plain question addressed to her mother is also the poet's disturbing address to the reader. Our childhood and its innocence and beauty will quickly pass like the morning gone, yet we may retain its lovely moments in our adult memory. When you think about it, that's actually a really nice thing. Even though that your childhood itself is going to end rather quickly, if you think about it, it's just, it's not really that long. It's 12 years, it's it, and you're not even going to remember all of it. Remember, what you do remember is stuck with you for life. It's good. <laughs> the violence have set her memory in motion as we cause another, whoops, I already read that line. Yeah. Um, the poem can be used as a contrast to today's family. The idea that the father at work and the mother at home with the child while having a family time can look at our current society and the lack of time with children in each other. That's right. Spend more time with your children. Make love. Make peace. Make anything else that's good. Do not make war. Do not make hate. Hate is